Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dior unboxing and as you guys can see, the holiday packaging is in and it's so stunning. Like I literally love this year's Dior holiday packaging. It may or may not be the reason why I decided to buy something. I'm joking guys. But yeah, honestly, I'm in love with the holiday packaging for Dior this year and I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on the packaging. Sometimes the packaging sells out, which is weird, but I mean, I don't know. So I got two items from Dior and they all, uh, not all, sorry. Both of the items are new. That's what it says on the website and that's what the sales associate told me when I did purchase these items. So let's get right into it. Let's start with a bigger bag. Um, even though the item is pretty small, look at how cute the Dior star is. My SA put on the star for me and I just couldn't be happier. Let's just appreciate the packaging. It's like gold foil and just, just stunning. Look at the detailing. Can you guys see? Let me turn it around. I think it's the same thing. These are the size of the bag. And just, oh, I just love it. Also, my nails match the packaging. Oh my God, love that. Wow, okay. So the bag is pretty big, but let's take the item out of the bag and unbox it. So here is the box. Even the boxes are so so damn cute i love it gosh so yeah this is a small little box this is the packaging it's so beautiful like it has these little butterflies on it and i just want to like just display this somewhere in the bathroom or something i don't know it's just so beautiful to look at okay let's open it right up So, do you guys have any guesses on what this item can be? Let me know in the comments below before I unbox it. Also, don't forget to like and comment this video. Okay. So, that's the foil. Okay, let's open it right up. And do you guys have any idea what this might be? Those of you who have probably purchased a similar item from a similar category you guys probably know what it is by now so yes it is fashion jewelry and here we have it it is this beautiful so so beautiful Dior ring just look at this guys it has crystals and it's a CD detailing and it has crystals all around the sides of the band, which was honestly my favorite detail about this specific ring. Let me tell you guys the name, it's probably on the back. So these are the details of the ring and the official name of the ring is it's called the Petite CD Ring in the gold finish metal and white crystals. And it retails for 480 Canadian dollars, or I think USD. No, it's Canadian. Okay. It retails for 480 Canadian dollars before taxes. So after taxes, I think around 580, 570, around there. So yeah, that's the retail price for this ring. Let me put this down and show you guys the ring on my finger. This is how it looks like. It comes in, I think, two different, actually it comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. So it's not typical ring sizes. And I think that's because it's fashion jewelry and not fine jewelry. But this is a size small and I'm typically a size five and a half um, to six in like regular ring size, I should say. So I do have pretty tiny fingers. It, I don't know, it may not look like it, but yeah so it fits me perfectly on my middle finger fits me perfectly on my index finger as well also on my ring finger basically yeah everywhere 
on my other hand as well love I love how it looks with my ring I mean my nails and in my ring finger on this hand as well right hand index finger as well so it's really really versatile in terms of the fit of it and how you can wear it on different fingers depending on your finger size or ring size of course but I honestly love this ring honestly I don't own any um, costume jewelry from Dior uh, my husband was this close to buying one of the other rings um, for me for an occasion as one of the gifts but I told him that I'd rather just have a gift card or the cash and purchase something else or put it towards a bigger gift so I didn't really end up getting that but finally got myself one Dior ring and I love this one like I didn't have any plans of getting this one I was just browsing at the Dior flagship store in New York City and that's when I came across this beautiful ring and I've never seen it before because of course it's from the new collection or newer collection I should say so when I saw it I was like oh my god is that fashion jewelry fine jewelry like I wasn't sure and she told me it's fashion jewelry but it just looks so dainty and so understated and cute and I'm more of a dainty jewelry person I do have some like statement rings and stuff like that but I tend to gravitate towards this kind of petite or like dainty jewelry so this was the perfect ring for me and I'm gonna keep it on while I unbox the other item and let me know what you guys thoughts are do you guys like fashion jewelry or what do you guys think is it worth the price I personally don't think it's worth the price for fashion jewelry but then again once again we are paying for the brand and the designer, not the actual like material of the item. You know what I mean? So in that sense, I think it's worth it. But in terms of like value for money, I don't think so. Okay, let's move on to the next item that I purchased from Dior in New York City. So this is the little bag that it comes in. Do you guys have any guesses on what it can, it can be? Once again, beautiful bag, so stunning. This one is different. This one has like different designs and prints compared to this one. Love, okay. So, oops, there we go. So I got a very, very cute item. It's a mitza or a twilly if you guys want to call it, but Dior calls it a mitza. And it's in the Rose Devant color and shade in the oblique. So this is what it looks like. I love this color. It, this is also a newer color for their mitza. Um, so honestly, I just couldn't. I love anything that's like pink or like, it's not really a true pink, but you guys know what I mean. So it has the Dior Oblique print in the Rose Devant color all throughout the Twilly. On the sides, there is this solid pink sort of um, block, I would say. Also, it's a kind of wrinkly because I did try it on, like this, this exact one on my bag. I got it for my Lady Dior, for my top handles for my Lady Dior. Currently, I have... Um, What's it called? The Hounslow, Hounslow print, the black and white checkers, basically, um, on my bag. So I was like, okay, if I do want to change it into something different for a different vibe, I can definitely go for this one. And when you flip it around, it's this beautiful type of line in the middle, and it says Christian Dior all along once, and then. It says it one more time, which is super cute. I love that detailing. So you can put it around your bag in either way that you prefer. Over here, I think, are the details of the item or how you should. I think it's dry clean only. Yes, it is. And it says Christian Dior Paris. And 
this retails for around 320 Canadian dollars before taxes. And I think it is, yeah, I think it is silk. Let me just make sure though. Yeah, it's 100% silk and it does retail for 320 Canadian dollars before taxes. So I really, really, really love this color. That's the only reason why I got this. I don't have an oblique um, printed mitza. I have three mitzas and none of them are oblique um, from Dior. So this is my first ever oblique printed mitza. So yeah, that's one other small item that I ended up picking up because of the color. And let me know if you guys want to see all my mitzas that I own from Dior or even just in general, all my toolies from all the different brands. I'll be more than happy to share that with you guys. But yeah, those, those are the two things that I got. This cute little ring and the mitza from Dior. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick Dior unboxing and uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of fashion jewelry in terms of designer houses and designer brands and stuff like that. And what about the mitza? Would you guys pick up a twilly or a mitza for 300 Canadian, 320 Canadian dollars before taxes just to put around your top handle? Or what other ways would you use a twilly for? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know because I do want to maximize the use for all my twillies. Currently, I've literally only used them as top handle um, like sh for show for my top handle bags but yeah i would love to utilize them more so please let me know below uh that's everything for today i hope you guys have a great day peace